Thank you, Nini. Papo, everybody, thank you. I appreciate y'all for pulling up today and every single Monday for Date Me Blind. Let me send the blast. Thank you, thank you, Play Baby. Thank you. Hello, everybody. So I just, I was just banned. If y'all didn't know, I got, I got banned for no reason. Um, so I just got unbanned. That's why I'm a little late. Um, yeah. So it's all right. We're still early, right? We're still early. We usually start around this time. All right. So everyone is, and well. Our contestants are all their contestants are in here and we do have um our actual special guests as well but before we start the show i did want to make a big announcement because we um today is a special day today is the day that we actually are here to re have a remembrance and um memorial to all our american veterans that were served they served in the military for um our country and they unfortunately are not here because they served their services for us okay so shout out to all um our military men women and every fellow fellow military people so we're here to you know happy memorial day i hope everyone's been safe um and it's been a it's been a hectic a hectic couple of 15 minutes d but hey listen we got it the show is still going we're still going to continue the show and we really appreciate everyone that still has came and pulled up and so so yeah, definitely, definitely. shout out to all our veterans thank you so much all make right. sure no cursing please for the contestants really quick no cursing guys that's the only rule thank you again yes again thank you for all those who fought for our country um up we we all appreciate it um now we're gonna start this show um do we have our our guests here is our guest ready our blind dates ready yeah she's here yeah i see okay we have seriously okay yeah she's definitely ready all right do we have the blind dates number one number two number three who's here in the comments right now show show me let me see let me see who's in the comments right now who's ready for tonight's show Person one in the comments, if y'all if y'all in, in the show tonight, y'all ready to watch the show tonight. Person one in the comments. Yes, yeah, like a guy like like Nini said, it was a little hectic 15 minutes. Literally, I was banned for like like 10 minutes ago. I was banned for no reason. That's, that's very important, you know. We we already mm -hmm. get into that age. We don't need immature immature people. Don't around. date during COVID. <laughs> that's the best advice I could give. I don't know anybody who made it out alive. <laughs> so how long did that last how long did that little fling thing go on for uh it that felt like a lifetime but i mean it actually because of covid and not going to work and everything <laughs> but probably like like a year i guess okay. yeah I, I think i think the not having a job moment because it was shut down and like having a lot of free time had a lot to do with the dealing with it in the beginning and then it was kind of like all right back to reality oh you're not keeping up with my lifestyle type of a deal got it and so what is the longest you've been in a relationship like three years okay not bad so you have at least you have no couple of no experience yeah. of a couple of years in, in a relationship all right what do you look for in a man um honesty i would say communication skills they you know like a minimum i would say like between like 24 and i don't want to i don't want to i don't want to kick myself here i would say 24 and let's say uh let's say 40. <laughs> <laughs> okay okay so 40 will be the highest that you will date i mean i feel like that i would seek after but like again yeah. i feel like i'm more it's definitely personality so i mean who knows i'm all, all right. you know so now now that you say personality would you rather go after a man that's very good looking or a man that's actually very knowledgeable definitely knowledgeable 
Okay. Definitely knowledgeable. I am a li- I am shallow though to to a little extent, but <laughs> aren't we all? <laughs> Got it. Aren't we all? all? Right. What is, What is your biggest goal in life? Happiness. Okay. And so, what is something that will make you happy forever? One thing that could make you happy forever. I feel like. Well, I mean, skateboarding's up there. I love skateboarding. I could, I could skateboard, and that that makes me happy. But like, I feel like when you do have a good relationship with somebody, and you can have productive conversations, um, that is, this that's like a, a priceless thing. Like to be honest, like because you can go so many places with that. Like so many things can be done if two people have productivity. <laughs> like. Definitely. All right. All right. Where would you like to be taken out on your first date? See, I definitely like, honestly, I'm the type, I would want to like smoke and go to an arcade. <laughs> okay. The little arcade, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Dave and Buster's or something like that? Yeah, that would be fun. Yeah. yeah. Then, Ooh, then the second like date, maybe day. like sushi and like, I would want to do something. Yeah. yeah see you out of the element first right sounds great nice all right what what is your goals from for the rem, the remainder of this year i guess i've i have been trying to like focus on myself the most i can i i wouldn't say find a man i mean it would just be more or less just get myself more to where i want to be which would be like as far as success like you know with my job and everything what what is the best compliment you ever received uh that's a hard question (laughs) um a lot of compliments before i've had honestly like there's been times where you know we all have our moments but I've had people reach out to me and like tell me like something I've said has like helped them or like maybe they like have so like stuff is is nice to see. Like when you actually realize that you are inspiring or doing something for somebody, like <laughs> definitely. Uh, do you have any phobias? I don't like spiders and I Definitely, like, so, like, if I go places, I drive. <laughs> like, if I let them drive, like, I have to trust you. Like, I am, like, when it comes to, like, I, I'm, like, I always have the keys. I don't know what it is. I have to be the one, like, I'm, like, I have to drive. <laughs> I, know I know that's not a phobia, but that's definitely a thing. I don't know what it is. Like, if I if I let you drive my car, I, I, I have full trust in you. <laughs> like, oh, definitely. oh definitely that's one thing the, the old car, i i hate oh, being a passenger i understand i know the feeling because so I, i'm a truck driver so i'm used to being the driver at all times yeah so when, when somebody else is the driver it's like eh, can i trust yeah, you but but i don't really see how people do on the side you know when i'm on the road so if like, i let I you be the driver crazy. and you start driving reckless off rip never again well <laughs> like Nope. God, like, get off, get off. I got you. I got this. I'll pull over. <laughs> pull over. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Uh, all right, seriously. Are you the type to get bored quick? Do you get bored? I, when, I do quick? have ADHD. So I, I, I say I hobby hop. So I can paint, draw, I write, I skateboard, I play video games. So like, I, I wouldn't say I get bored quick because I, I do like, I cannot entertain myself but um yeah <laughs> we need to play fortnite together definitely <laughs> it's a trust you need to trust all right um will you will you help a man get on his feet if you see any potential in him or you rather get go with someone that's already settled down and already got his life together um what, what do you rather go for to be honest um that's like I have no problem helping 
somebody build because I feel like that's the point of a relationship. Um, I've had I've heard like, oh, like I need to get my stuff together. And it's like, well, if the person that you're with is stopping you from doing that, then that's not a beneficial relationship, essentially, like to me. So I, that doesn't matter. Like if you don't got your stuff together, like we can kind of work on it as long as you're willing to work on it. Right. No, definitely, definitely, because you don't want to be trying to help someone out that's not trying to help themselves out, right? Exactly. Definitely. All right, all right. Exactly. For those who just joined, this is Date Me Blind every Mondays at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. I am your host, Dee Diamante, and tonight we have our special guest, Seriously. She will be choosing between the three guys I'm about to bring to the date box right now. So, fellas, please request the box. So, Seriously, are you ready? A little nervous? A little nervous, but we're here. A little bit? All right. <laughs> yeah, here, right. Oh, not the eyes. I can't. All right. Landing number two. You said choose wisely. <laughs> There we go. Thank you. Blending number one, how are you feeling tonight? I'm doing all right. How about yourself? I'm doing great. How about you, number two? I'm doing good. How you doing? Doing amazing. And number three? I'm doing very well. Thank you. All right. All right. So number one, where are you from and what's your age? So currently I'm living in Jersey, but I'm from South Carolina and I'm 25 years old. Okay. And your zodiac sign? I'm an Aries. Nice. And what is your nationality? I'm Middle Eastern. Okay, Middle Eastern. And what do you do for a living? I work in sales. I sell cell phones and tablets. Okay, nice. Do you have any children? Do not have kids. Do you want kids? Yes, sir. Okay. So how long have you been single for? About a year and a half. And what happened in the relationship? I got divorced. Okay. And so you was married for how long? About two years, give or take. Okay, two years. Um, and so what happened? What happened there? Long story, but if she really wants to know, I'll tell her on the DMs. Okay. Hey, listen. That's, that's, that's between y'all. That's, that's a nice little private conversation to get to know each other. Definitely. All right. And um, so what is the longest you've been in a relationship? Uh, about two years. Okay, so that's been the longest. All right. How about you, number two? Where are you from? And how old are you? Oh, sorry. I have a mute. 34. Four here soon. I'm from I'm Jersey sorry, and Puerto Rican and Cuban. I'm 34. I'm from Jersey and I'm Puerto Rican and Cuban. Okay. And what is your zodiac sign? I'm a cancer. Cancer. And what do you do for a living? I do, uh, I'm, I'm what they call a drywall technician. I specialize in drywall repair and brand new homes, villas, million dollar homes. So okay. I work in construction, you could say. Do you have children? I got three little girls. Nice. You want the boy? I do. Okay, nice, nice. So, how many kids? Will you want more kids, or you just want one more and you want it? To I'm be open. I'm not. I'm open to it. I'm open to it. I love kids. Kids are a blessing. Gotcha. All right. How long you been single for? Eleven months. Okay. And what happened in that last relationship? My ex cheated on me and got pregnant with another dude. Wow. That's that's hard. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, yeah, nice and, one, girl. Yeah. So, what is the longest you've been in a relationship? Twelve years. Twelve years. Nice. Yes. That's sir. a very long time. Um, is that with the mother of your daughters? Correct. All right. Um, they want to know how many baby moms you have. I only got two. One eye. I got two. My daughters are with one, and my son that I haven't seen in four years is with his mother. Okay, so, got it. 
All right, all right. So number three, where are you from and how old are you? I'm from Boston, five. Nice. How old are you? 35. 35? All right, and what, what is your zodiac sign? I'm Scorpio. Yeah, your nationality? I'm Guatemalan. Guatemalan, all right. Yes. And what do you do for a living? Um, I work for a power company. Okay. Do you have any children? No children, no. Okay. I am open to it, but it would depend on the partner. You know, we have to discuss that whenever I get with somebody. Okay. All right, all right. How long have you been single for? Uh, over a year, a little bit over a year. Gotcha. And what happened in your last relationship? So the person said um, they wanted communication, but they lacked that. They lacked that skill, so they didn't communicate. Mm. And how, do, how long did y'all last? We lasted about a year. Got you. And the longest you've been in a relationship, how long has it been? Three years. Got you. All right, all right, not, not that bad. So everybody at least has some type of experience when it comes to relationships. Um, so right now, we, we have the three um, blind dates. We know a little bit about them. Now we're gonna go into more of a serious questions now. Um, we're gonna wait for number two to come back in the box. It's all right, no problem, we'll wait for you. You know, for those who just joined, this is Demi <laughs> Every Mondays at 9 p.m. Eastern time, I am your host, Di Diamante, and we have our special guest, Seriously. Tonight, she will be choosing between these three guys in the black box, but actually we only have two right now. Waiting for number three to rejoin. There we go. There we go. All right, so. Now, we're gonna start with number one. So number one, are you the type to fall in love easily? I sure am. And that's why I gotta like, I have these walls built up now because of being hurt in the past to where I gotta like pace myself just so I don't hurt myself again in the future. Definitely, okay. What, what, do, you, what do you like most about being in a relationship? I just love being around somebody that I can love and care for and take care of. And that just really makes my day. Okay, nice. What about you, number number three? Do you fall in love easily? Not really. Not okay. really. But I also won't waste your time. So if I'm not feeling it right off the bat, I'll let you know. Okay. And what is, what do you like most about being in a relationship? Hey, I'm I'm an affectionate person, so you know I'll show love, you know, and just doing stuff, you know, like having somebody, you know, let's go to the movies, you know, just go to the movies. An event came up in town, let's go, you know, just having somebody a partner, yeah. no right. child support, <laughs> no child support. Oh, good. <laughs> All right, how about you, number two? Are you the type to fall in love easily? I mean, I can. It just depends on the female and what she's willing to reciprocate. If she can't reciprocate the same thing I'm giving her, then it ain't never going to work. Okay. What do you like most about being in a relationship? I love the, the feeling of feeling wanted by a woman. Like, you know, that feeling of like, damn, she really she really feeling me. Like, she she really want to fuck with me. Excuse me. Sorry. Right. But yeah, you want to feel that that secureness, right? Like, yeah, okay. yeah, make make me feel like I'm I'm the I'm your king. That's make me feel like it. I'm the man, basically. Facts, right? facts, because I'm gonna make you feel like you're the biggest and only queen in the world. As you should. All right. Now, number three, what is your most favorite physical attraction when it comes to a woman? <laughs> Guys, physical guys. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, I, love, okay. I love some thick thighs. You know, right, especially you? when you're driving. <laughs> especially when you're driving. Oh, so you'd like to stay at, at, at your partner while they're driving? No, no, no. The thighs. You know, you got one hand on the steering wheel, one hand on the thighs. You know. <laughs> the thighs. I thought you said, you said I. Thigh. No, I said thighs, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you, <said I> <laughs> you thought you said eyes, right? I'm thinking you're talking about the eyes. <laughs> All right, so you like the sky. Yes, sir. Oh, got you, got you. All right, so you like you like looking at the thighs. Right? Like they driving, caressing them type thing. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, I don't like that. I like thighs too. All right. What about you, number two? What, 
What is your most favorite physical attraction when it comes to a woman? Um, I would have to say it got to be the eyes. Like, when I look at you in your eyes, you got to make me, I got to feel like you're taking my soul with your eyes. Okay, so you like you like the eyes, not the thighs, right? No, nah, I like all that, but I'm, I'm just saying the main is going to be your eyes. The eyes. No, that's what I meant. You said eyes, not that, right? You got it. All right. So you're into the eyes. You like, no, that could be bad. Right? <laughs> Gotcha. All right. What about you, number one? What is your most favorite physical attraction to when it comes to a woman? My favorite physical attraction would have to be the lips. Okay, the lips. Okay. Mm-hmm. You like small lips, big lips? I like big lips. Okay. Yeah. Praise God for two of them, right? Got it. <laughs> number two, what is something you want to do differently from your past relationship? Hmm. Before we have intimacy, let me make love to your mental. Okay. Okay. You want so can you elaborate a little bit? Sex is always the first thing a man looks for, but that's not me. I'm really looking for what you have in your mind before I even touch what you have in your body. Okay. So in your past, you was just more thinking about, oh, yeah, I just want to have sex, sex, sex. But now, as you got older, it's nah, like, it's just what you go <laughs> through in life. It's, it's what you go through in life. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to wrap myself up with somebody who, who doesn't use their head. You get what I'm saying? If you can't use your head, and I and I and I go ahead and touch you physically, who knows if you might be some psycho who's gonna, you know, have my social security card by the second week of me knowing you. I don't know that. So yeah, I'm trying to get to know you before I fuck with you. Excuse my language again. It's all right. I appreciate that. All right. This, I understand now. All right. Got you. Got you. All right. So y'all, you already know. Seriously, he's gonna be hiding the social security card, the IDs, and all that. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna. <laughs> all right. Number one. What is something you want to do differently from your past relationship? I I honestly like last relationship. I kind of drifted away from God. So I think. I'm a Christian personally, and I don't want to like shove religion down anyone's throat, but I'd love to have that relationship where we can grow as a couple, but also grow spiritually as well. Okay, nice. All right, so you're more into in spiritual, you're more into religion, right? Got gotcha. you. All right, what about you, number three? What is something you want to do differently from your past relationship? Probably um, go a little bit slower, you not know, rush things. Whenever you rush things, that they never work out really, you know. Right. You're right about that. That's something I always say. I don't I don't rush things because it, it doesn't work. When you rush things, it, everything fails. All right. Definitely right about that. All right. Now, number one, have you ever broken someone's heart before? I mean, every time I swipe left on Tinder, I feel like another heart is broken, but um and all seriously like i try my best to make everybody happy regardless of my feelings so even if we're not together like we still friends all right all right got it what about you number three have you ever broken someone's heart before i'll plead the fifth <laughs> how, how do you break her heart what do you do um I don't know what I did. I didn't do anything. Nah, but I have. Um, I just don't know. Maybe it was, let's say she got my name after the fact that we broke up. She tatted her name, my name on her, trying to get me back. Wait. So she broke up with me. So you didn't break her heart. She broke your heart. No, no. I didn't get her name tatted on her. She got my name tatted on her after we broke up. And she still has oh. it to this day. It's been 10 plus years and she still has it. So she's been trying to get back with you and you like, nah, it's a dub. It's yeah, for a, few years, for a few years, she would contact me. Now we really haven't had a contact. We ran into each other. And she still has my name tatted on her. She never covered it up. And it's been 10 years. Gotcha. All right. All right. What about you, number two? 
Oh man, yeah, I did back in high school. Really? Wait. Well, how, and yeah. how did that happen? What do you do? You know how it's just high young. school, man. It's high school puppy love. That's all that is. We was young, right? You're right about that. We was young. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> all right. What do you think about that? Seriously. Um, I think there's a lot of interesting answers from a lot of different perspectives. <laughs> Uh, have you broken someone's heart before? I think I did without knowing. I think, like, essentially, there's a lot of times where, like, I've had people that I guess were friends that had liked me and I didn't know okay. type of deal. Got it. But. Right. Gotcha. All right. Not maliciously. I never maliciously broke somebody's heart. Yeah, uh -huh. that's what they all say. It was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> it was by accident. It was an accident. All right. All right. Number number three. Are you the type to make the first move, or you wait for the, the other person to make the move? I'm more fluid with it. You know, for some reason, people always tend to come to me. Though, I'll be sitting down somewhere and. They'll just walk up to me and they'll start a conversation. Sometimes I'm not even paying attention and I'll just be chilling on the couch or against the wall and people will walk up to me and they'll just start smiling and stuff and they start a conversation. And I just keep it going. Okay. okay. What about you, number two? Are you the type to make the first move or you wait for the person to make it? I can make the first move if she gives me the look like, I'm waiting for you type of shit. Okay. All right, so I have you don't know. I have to feel that. I wouldn't just do it without knowing that you actually was wanting me. I, yeah, you're not the type to just go straight after her, like, hey, what's up? I like yeah. you. <laughs> no, I would. I would. I mean, but I would have to see that coming from her. Like she she was feeling me. Yeah, you need to you need to you need to have that 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 same feeling like when you look at someone like okay yeah i know they're feeling me i'm feeling them too let's make it happen yeah, yeah, yeah. have that little connection yeah all right. all right what about you number one are you the type to make the first move or you wait for the other person to make it by golly like when i'm out in public i'm a really shy fella listen if we on the dms or we talking on on the meet me or scout whatever you use i don't mind doing the first move Honestly, depends on the person and our vibe. If we vibe well, look, I'll be flowing like the the waterfalls in South Carolina. Are you a cowboy? Nah, I lived on a farm. My dad used to uh, have uh, grapes, the muscadines. Yeah. They, they make wine out of it. It's pretty good. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, number one, number two. Are you the type to travel? You like traveling? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm lost. I'm my fault. Do I like to travel? Yes. I've traveled the whole U.S. actually. I used to truck drive just as well. Okay, nice. I have, have you traveled out of the U.S.? Uh, not yet. I haven't. I would love to, though. I'm trying to go to Japan. So that, that's your first place you would like to go to, Japan? That's one of my first spots I want to go to, yes. Oh, nice. Interesting. Okay. Nice. What about you, number one? Are you the type to travel? Number one? Oh, you're talking to me? My bad. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I personally have been up and down the East Coast, never been out West before, but I have been to Syria. My mom took me there when I was five years old, and I've been to Egypt. But I don't know if that counts because I've only been in the airport. It was like a connecting flight. I was supposed to go to Hawaii, but they canceled that trip. So I'm going to Colorado next month. I'm excited for that. All right. Okay, okay. Gotcha. Uh, how about you, number three? Uh, well, my passport's all marked up. So okay. I've been to around 18 countries. Uh, starting off with my first country was Egypt. I actually stayed in Egypt, sir. <laughs> so, you know, I went to the pyramids, the Valley of the Kings. I've been, I spent the whole month in Europe going up and down. I do, yo, number two, if she doesn't choose us, bro, boys trip to Japan because I want to do a Mario Kart, you know, so, you know, we, we could plan a boys trip, man. We can get some Japanese ladies if she doesn't want us. 
right. Okay. So now, <laughs> number one, what it's makes you unique? Nah, nah, we don't like each other. It's just a voice trick. So listen, listen, here. listen here. What makes gotcha. me unique is I, I'm a tall, I'm a, I'm a tall person. I speak English and Arabic. Yeah, I mean, finna kind of Arabic is a bit Um, my both of my parents were cooks, so I know how to cook some good food, some Middle Eastern cuisine. Um, as well as the talents, you're gonna have to find those yourself, because I'll make you holler. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, I'm I'm a quite interesting person. Cool, cool. What about you, number three? What makes you unique? Oh, well, he said he's kind of tall. I'm kind of tall too, you know. Check my profile right now. Look at my picture, my profile. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I, no, I'm I like hiking. I mean, I like everything to be honest. You know, I'm very versatile. Like, I like traveling. I like hiking. I like sports. I used to play sports no nerdy stuff you know video games anything i can really like a vast my uh, vast variety of subjects you know and i i can eat some mangoes too okay, okay. nice mm-hmm. what about you number two what makes you unique? oh man number two number two number two first of all now i love to make music um, okay I listen to a variety of different music, R&B, soul, country, you know, all that. But I'm a city boy, but I'm country at heart. So I do like to go hunting and fishing. Um, I love being on the beach. I love being on the water. I love camping. Um, you know, I'm, I'm with the, I'm with everything, basically. I'm adventurous. So you might catch me in a tree like Tarzan, or you might catch me on a, on a bed rail like Tarzan, one of the two. All right. Yeah, that's right. All right, number number three, what is the weirdest tradition your family has? Honestly, though, we don't have a tradition. Um, our family's really not that knit close that we have a tradition, to be honest. Okay. So, you know, like it's really just like the close members, but we don't have a tradition. I'm sorry, but that one, I don't have anything. All right, go to the next. All right, how about you, number two? What is the weirdest tradition your family has? Say again, what's the question? The weirdest tradition your family has. My family is very, uh, very separate. Like when my mom was alive, it was more like, you know, that everybody knew my mom was going to do Thanksgiving, but it's not like that no more. So I don't think we have a real family tradition or family. Gotcha. And how about you, number one? All right, so our weirdest tradition is like, we celebrate Christmas, not in December, but like in January, February kind of time. So that's when we be celebrating Christmas. Mama makes all the cookies and the baklava and all that beautiful, amazing Middle Eastern cuisine. Um, So yeah, it's it's Christmas, but it's not when everybody else celebrates it. So it's a little bit off, you know what I mean? Okay. Number two. Do you do you go to the gym? Do you work out? Um, <laughs> I used to back in the day. I wouldn't say I do right now, but I am physically fit. Um, I mean, you can see she can see it later on if she wants to. No biggie. Got you. How about you, number one? Do you work out? She since i moved to jersey i have not been to a planet fitness but i still got my membership i do have an oculus quest so i'll be working out my wrists and my arms and i do play fortnite so that i hand eye coordination is on point zero builds though okay okay got you (laughs) all right how about you number three do you work out um i'm just doing some softball and football playing football and soccer on the weekends but i haven't been to the gym in a minute so you move like athletic you like sports yeah yeah yeah. i used to play baseball in college so that kind of stuff got you all right all right all right also fight crime on the weekends you also what fight crime on the weekends (laughs) you fight crimes on the week oh yeah that's batman i forgot (laughs) all right Number two, 
Talk to me. You know, homebody, or you like being in the streets? You like being out and about? Um, a little bit of both, but I'm not in the streets type of guy. I'm the type of guy that's uh, like if I go out, like I said, I'm going to the beach. I'm going to family's house. I don't go to clubs. I don't go to bars. It's not for me. Not my forte. Um, yeah. If I'm not, if I'm doing something, I'm more chilling with my kids than anything. Okay. What about you, number one? Are you a homebody or you like being out and about? So what I do for work is I'm outside on the streets in the middle of low income areas trying to sell them stuff. So when I'm off of work, I'd rather be at home spending quality time with family and streaming because I do that a lot. Okay. What about you, number three? Number one just sounds like a street pharmacist. <laughs> Uh, but um, no, nah, but um, no, nah, I'm a mixture. I, I I like spending some time out, you know. I go out, and then, of course, you know, you gotta have a the balance, you know, be at home, have a chill night, you know, order some food, watch movies. Okay. Number one, are you the jealous type? Oh hell yeah! I mean, okay. I try to reserve myself as much as possible, but honestly, I feel like everybody's jealous. Is, a certain amount, even if it's a smidgen, everybody's slightly jealous. Um, but I, I'm huge on communication. So as long as we're talking and like we're, we're both an open book, we're all being transparent, we can work it out. Got it. All right. What about you, number three? Are you the jealous type? So as long as we have communication, reassurance, you know, there's, of course, you know, there's going to be that little jealousy mixed in there you know but you know if you can talk it out i mean it can be worked out you know yeah, definitely. all right what about you number two are you the jealous type i don't like to say that um i'm more of like i don't have a problem flaunting my woman you know what i'm saying i'm not that dude that's gonna try to be like you know change your attire do this dude. i don't do that you're your own person but there's no reason for me to be jealous if i understand and know what the hell i got Okay. How how do you feel when other other guys find your woman attractive and they're trying to hit on her? Makes me okay. know that I got something nice. Okay. Gotcha. What about you, number one? Are, how do you feel when others find your partner attractive? I mean, I'm going to have to side with whoever said that comment because, like, I know that God blessed me with an amazing woman and, yo, I appreciate them as much as the other fella, but I know that she's mine and that's all that matters. How about you, number three? How well, do you they only know how you toxic know. and crazy she is, they would run anyway, so I'm just playing. Okay, that's right. I'm just playing. <laughs> nah, no, nah, not for real though. But yeah, if you know, you know your girl looks good, she has a great, you know, it's like, you know she's with you. She's coming home with you at the end of the day. Doesn't Facts. matter. People can look. People look all the time anyway. Facts. She, she might be looking at other girls. You're right about that. But for those who just joined, this is Date Me Blind every Mondays at 9 p.m. Eastern time. I'm your host, Di Diamante, and we have our special guest tonight. Seriously, she will be choosing between these three great, amazing guys, uh, who she thinks is the best date for her. So seriously, so far, how you feeling? <laughs> So real quick, which one was from Boston? Which one was from Jersey? I had a blind date three and two because you switched. Number one lives in Jersey. Number one lives. I'm in from Jersey. Jersey. And I'm also from Jersey. Number two. two? Okay, all right. Because I wasn't sure when when they switched spots. I thought it was two. Um, very interesting answers. I feel like I know number three. <laughs> I don't know well, why. We're not gonna choose yet. We're not gonna choose yet. I just you know it's just, it's just so the far. answer so far. I'm just trying to figure this out. <laughs> All right. So um, you say you know number three. Is it by his voice or because of you feel like you know him just like it's just by his answers, but I'm Batman. <laughs> he's Batman. You probably know Batman. You know Batman? He said he's Batman. But all right, <laughs> all right, we're gonna continue with the questions. <laughs> all right, so now number one, are you the type to argue? She, I would say, yeah. I mean, 
I'm one of those people that like a nice, healthy debate. Like, I don't, I don't raise my voice. I'm passionate when I speak, but I, I'm the one that will admit when I'm wrong if I'm wrong. Okay. Do you get second chances? Always. God, God gave us multiple chances. So who am I if I don't give y'all a chance? Even if she cheats on you? Hell no. Not again. Seven times, it's seventy on. times. Okay. Okay. Got you. Number three. Are you the type to? Are you the type to argue? I'm very patient. So usually, like, it depends on the situation too. So yeah, I'm, I'll let her talk and shit, and then we can talk about it. Because people usually, when they're angry, they don't have a clear mind, so they'll say anything. So until you know, let it out. Right. Do you believe in giving second chances? It depends on the situation again. Like number two said, you know, if that happened to me, nah. <laughs> nah, but there's a certain things, you know. Like okay. some some are for you know, like you, you know, we all make mistakes. No, definitely, definitely. All right. What about you, number two? Are you the type to argue? I don't like to argue. I will never argue. Um, if you start yelling at me or raising your voice at me, I'm gonna look at you like you retarded and I'm gonna walk away from you. And then when you calm down, we could talk like we some grown adults. Because I don't feel like two grown adults should be yelling at each other like they children. Definitely. All right. Do, do you believe in second chances? I do. This depends on the situation. And no, if you cheat on me, because that's what got me in trouble the last time. Mm, right. All right. I forgave her. So, yeah. Right. Number, number three, are you the type to plan things I've had a time, or are you spontaneous? Mixture. So, I mean, like, if we're traveling out the country, I'll plan that ahead of time. I like to do that months ahead of time. You know, look up activities and different stuff, you know, sightseeing and all that stuff. But if we're, we're chilling at home, if, at home, yo, you know, going all around Gotham in the Batmobile, you know, jumping in different, you know, fighting crime together. <laughs> Got you. All right. What about you, number two? Are you the type to plan things or, <laughs> or, or ahead of time? Are you the type yes. to plan things ahead of time or are you very spontaneous? I'm sorry, I just want to comment. I, I, I do both. Um, but, yeah. I do both. I like to plan and I like to do spontaneous. So it just depends on the mood, the moment, and how, you know, how the things flow. All right, got you. Uh, number number two, what is something you like to spend too? Like, what is something you think you spend too much money on? Something I spend too much money on. Um, shit, myself. <laughs> I spend so a lot of money on myself. A haircut, a haircut every week. I go literally every week, once a week. Um, you know, personal hygiene. Do a lot of personal hygiene. Like right now, I'm talking to you guys. I'm doing my hair. Yes. Okay. So, besides besides personal hygiene, you know, because I mean that's something that we should be taking care of. Besides that, what do you? Spend money on? You said what? Besides that, what's my what? What's something that you like to spend money on? <sighs> my daughters, man. First and foremost. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's my it babies. Yeah, that definitely should be number one. Okay. Yeah. How about you? How about you, blinded number one? What is something you feel like you spend too much money on? I mean, if we're being honest here, I've been black VIP since December, so I feel like I'd be spending way too much money on this. I was waiting for and it. I was waiting for like, somebody to see this site. I was waiting for it. Ever getting black VIP? <laughs> I swear I bought that only with $25 packs. Just one more, just one more. Boom, the black VIP. I got the hoodie. I got the little bowling stuff, the bowling vest looking thing. Okay, and also, okay. like you skipped me about the, uh, if I'm spontaneous or not, I'm very spontaneous. I just figured I had to, I had to bring that up to seriously's okay. attention. I'm sorry, all right? No. So, so you're very spontaneous. You just come out of nowhere and start, no, decide to do things right there and then? Yeah, I, I'm not one to plan stuff. I like to see where the vibe is and see what, like, get a feel for what what's going on, like the weather. There's so many things that can influence what's going to happen in a day. So I don't think planning is. I mean, sometimes planning is good because if if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. But what I'm saying is, I 
I'm very flexible with my time. Okay. Gotcha. What about you, number three? What I spend too much money on? Probably sneakers. Sneakers? Okay. Yeah, sneakers. And uh, I'm into like little collectibles and stuff like that too. So I probably spend too much money on that too. What are your favorite type of sneakers? Dunks right now, the low dunks. Okay, some dunks. Okay. Right. Number one, are you a competitive type of person? And it, what is something that you feel like no one can beat you at? All right. I really hope seriously has on messages because I am the king of the word games. You might be better at me on cut pong, but the word games, like I love to see you shoot your shot. I'm pretty competitive on majority of things, but I am a good sport as well. So even if you're winning, I'm going to congratulate you, even if my emojis say otherwise. Okay, there you go. How about you, number three? Are you competitive? And what is something you think anyone cannot be yet? Yeah, I'm pretty competitive um, at a lot of things. I mean, you can't really play sports almost all your life and then not be competitive, you know? Um, but yeah, you know, right now, you know, being this old, probably just Mario Kart, you know, some telling Mario Kart, you know, so yeah, I'll say I'm competitive. Okay, so you like playing Mario Kart games, video games and stuff? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. What about you, number two? Are you competitive and what is something that you feel like no one can beat you at? I don't like to compete. I don't feel like there's a reason for me to compete. Okay. So, so you don't play. There's not anything that you play. Like, right, you I, so you feel like you win at everything. That's what you're telling me. So you don't have to. Compete. Nah, it's just uh, I don't know. I'm not big on like competing. I feel like There's I'm my own person. Person. Nah. For what? Okay. Okay. Got you. So you're just more chill kind of person. Yep. Right? Okay. Let them be each other over who's gonna win, right? Type of exactly. thing. Yeah. All right. Computer is yeah. the fun. All right. Well, for those who just joined, this is Date Me Blind every Mondays at 9 p.m. Eastern time. Tonight we have Seriously as our special guest, and she will be choosing between these three guys in the black date box on who she thinks is the best date for her. All right. So in the comments so far, who y'all think so far is the best date? Who's, who do you think she will be picking tonight? Just, just a little CC, little sign. Yes, I am. Let's see, number three, number one, number three. I was with number two, but I think number one. Between two and three, number one, my lord, number two. All right, well, listen, it's, it's your decision, seriously, tonight. So don't worry about what they're saying in the comments. I'm going to ask them one more question, <laughs> and then we will be choosing, all right? So, Yo. all right. <laughs> number two. If you can do anything in the world, what would it be? Ooh, if I could do anything in the world, oh, right now, leave the country, man. To be honest with you, leave the country, go visit the motherland, Puerto Rico. Um, you know, take my daughters on on these adventures that are going. All right, got you. How about you, number one? If you can have. If you could do anything in the world right now, what would it be? I've always liked to make tea, and I would love to have my own, like, tea shop, maybe tea and coffee, maybe open it up in, like, Colorado so you can have, like, bud tea and coffee and just a great social place where everybody can hang out and socialize and sip on some tea or coffee. Okay. What about you, number three? I'll be, um, all right, let me be serious about this one. Uh, I'm a pleaser, so I like pleasing people. So basically, it would be, you know, make everybody happy. There's a lot of hate, both uh, BS going around in this world, you know. You know, that would, that would be my thing, is make everybody happy. Got you. All right. Now, seriously, I will, we're going to get them to come in the main box now. So, everybody who's just watching and just joined us, Again, we will have the blind dates go and come in the main accounts. We will be choosing who she thinks is the best date now. So please leave the box and come in your main accounts. Now, seriously, 
Drum roll time. <laughs> well, again, for those who just joined, this is Daily Blind every Monday at 9 p.m. Eastern time. I am your host, Didi Amante, and we have our special guest, Seriously. She's about to choose between these three guys that was in a black date box answering some questions, and she will choose who she thinks is the best date for her. So, so far, Seriously, we asked them some questions. We got to know them a little bit. Um, how do you feel? Do you feel like you already have the answer do you feel like you need some time i think i have a, i think i have a pretty solid answer also oh, it's solid all right I, so I, now I have a pretty solid answer. Answer. we're gonna we're gonna ask the we're gonna ask the viewers in the comments <laughs> who do you think will be the first one to get eliminated in the comments who that one i know be, for sure who oh it's for sure then she knows <laughs> this one for sure I see, threes, <laughs> I see ones i see twos i see all type of numbers <laughs> okay well it's your choice seriously who, since you are so sure about the one that you're already kicking out sorry you're not my type it's not a bad that. reason it's oh, not a bad reason i'll give the reason um one <laughs> all right should i tell you the reason first or do you want him to come no, up no i want you to tell me who it is First, so we can bring him in the back, and then you. Okay. Will tell me why. So number two. <laughs> number two. Number two. Please request the box. And then. No. Number two, hello, what's going Number on? Two. What's up? Apple Number Pop two. Oh, man. Yeah. How you doing? What's going we on? We are so how you doing? See, that's why you you look like trouble. You sounded like trouble, <laughs> and you look like trouble, and you look like it. a toxic mistake that I don't want to make. <laughs> but I'm not. So, bro, but I'm not. Bro. Plus, you were in your I'm bathroom not. when you started it, and you didn't really I'm look like you I'm doing my care. hair. No, I'm in my hair. <laughs> So I'm better at doing my hair right now. He was paying attention. All right. All right. Well, well, so good. I appreciate don't, it. Don't yeah, look at that smile. There, That's right? probably what got me in trouble. Don't leave the box. We will be bringing in the next the next person. So in the comments, right. who do you think out of number one and number three is the winner of tonight's date? See, we have number one. Number four. You're going to get number four. I don't know. <laughs> number four. <laughs> Uh, I still don't care. One. Look, he don't care. He don't care about nothing. Not at all. <laughs> he don't care about nothing. You think he gonna care about me? <laughs> nah, I'm worried. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> all right, seriously. So, who you think out of number one and three is not the one you want to date? The one you do all right, not want. I'm. To date. I feel Why? like this is also a a to This is like the reverse toxic decision. I feel like I should be number one as the one I should, but number one is the one that I'm going to have to say also. I just, I, for some reason, I think it's the accent. I, <laughs> I think so it's number, number so one, one is the one I would eliminate next. So it's not number one. No, it is number one is who I, I would say no. Yeah. So number one is eliminated. Number one, please request the box. He's still doing his hair in the box. Yo, I'm how are you doing? I'm I don't have an accent. Partners. I just I already have you favorited, so I figured I'd mask it with an accent. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I couldn't deal with that accent all day. And when you said right. golly G, I'm like, oh my god, like my I, golly? <laughs> who from Jersey saying whatever you just Listen, I'm from, I'm from South Carolina. I got that country accent somewhere, but I, I can speak normal <laughs> English, no problem. <laughs> that was the only thing. What's up, what's up, what's up, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have fun with it though. That's what matters. Look, I made her laugh, so my my goal on this is complete. Oh, bonus. Get in there with the bonus. <laughs> All right, that's what's so. Oh up. my god, that was the the only thing. The that's so funny. All right, please don't leave the box. Now we we will be bringing in tonight's winner of tonight's date. So the winner of tonight's date, please request the box. And seriously, why was it that you picked them tonight? I just immediately when he started talking like i said it just i just felt like i like i don't know if i knew the person or what it just i feel like it was it was somebody that i could vibe with like even though some of his answers were off the wall like i, I liked them like the taxi yeah 
<laughs> yeah, the toxic answer so, got me. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so tonight's winner of tonight's date is the one and only Mr. Eddie. Eddie is tonight's winner. <laughs> All right. For those no don't don't know Eddie, please make sure you're hitting with the pin. All right. So Eddie, any words? You're tonight's winner. Yeah, we can hear you. A little bit, sounds a little low, but there we go. Wait. Yeah, it sounds low. We don't hear you. We don't hear you. I don't know what happened now. Yeah, we don't hear you. We don't hear you at all. No, he's, he's not lagging. lagging. He won. He's not, he's not lagging. It's just his it's just his audio is not going through at the moment. Oh I love y'all. All right. Um, Eddie, can you please come back to the box? There we go. Now we can hear you a little better. All right. So, seriously, this is your date tonight. This is the person you have chosen tonight. It's Eddie. I don't know if you know each other, but um, if y'all don't, y'all can get to know I each thought other I do, but apparently I don't. <laughs> Yeah, you said, you said, I think I know number three, number, wait, what, I number did two? not. Number two? I don't know what you said, though. All right. Well, I want to thank all of you for being here tonight. I know y'all can hear each other in the DMs. I don't know what's going to happen after this. It's none of my business. I did what I had to do. I came when I, I came and, <laughs> and conquered what I had to do. But thank y'all so much for being part of the show. So now, um, for those who don't have these amazing people, Fave, please make sure you're hitting them with the Fave. Seriously, when when can, when do you go live? When can we catch you live? Um, where, uh, where I'm usually live on? after 6 o'clock in the week. Um, I'm off the next two days, so I'll be on. I'm hosting an auction on 610. It's a gray sweats left on red text auction. Um, it's going to be an auction slash show. I'm going to be doing little games in between, giving out wheels. It's going to be fun. Nice, so, nice. Pull up. Have me on Instagram. Fun. I make flyers. All that. What day? What day is that? Uh, six ten. Six ten, June tenth. Yeah. Make sure you're going to seriously stream. What time? Uh, not uh, eight thirty. It starts. Eight thirty p.m. Eastern time. Make sure y'all come and make sure y'all show us some love. All right. Now, um, Aqua. Yes, sir. So, do you have any events coming up? When can we find you? Your social medias. Oh um, yes. Um, mango eating contest coming up. June third, ten p.m. Tune in. Shit gonna be crazy. These these lips do magic. I'm gonna tell y'all. So y'all ain't gonna wanna miss that. That's a fact. <laughs> Mango eating contest. All right, June second. Nini, Nini the recruiter. So make sure wait. You know my admin. Date me blind admin Nini. Make sure you hit it with the fave. It's the mango eating contest. You cannot miss out. He's a bad boy. All right? Definitely. All right, Aladdin. How about you? What about yourself? Do you have any events coming up? Um, where can we find you at? And when do you stream? Yeah, I stream typically every day. I usually do a work stream when I'm out in the streets of Jersey, and then I'll do one at home. Um, usually, you'll catch me for sure from like 9 p.m. to 2 in the morning, Eastern Standard Time. I have an auction coming up. I don't know what day it is, but I know I have a Battle Royale. It's going to be my first one, June 23rd. So I, I just want to be in an event. So I'm excited to be in a part of that. Nice. So, yeah. All right. How about you, Eddie? Where can we find yeah. you? When do you stream? When what social media is do you know where can find you at? Well, my social media is in my bio. Um as far as like um, I stream usually like during the week or after 7 p.m. But I don't really have anything. Okay, okay. Just nice. Just you know. <laughs> I don't know about that anymore. <laughs> Wait, you in the eating mango eating process too? I don't know yet. Don't oh, know. you don't know She's yet. Not. All right. Well, hey, ladies, do y'all want to see Eddie in the mango eating contest? Oh, no, don't do Put that. a one in the comments that y'all want to see Eddie in the mango eating contest. Don't get scared. Don't get scared. Don't get scared. <laughs> oh, you see them ones, bro. That means yes. <laughs> you got to do it for the people, brother. You know what I'm saying? This is what we're here for. We're here for the people. So, hey, at the end of the day, it's your decision. Well, again, thank you, Nini. Um, Whoever doesn't know Nini, make sure y'all date me by an admin, Nini. She's my admin. If y'all want to be part of the show, make sure y'all hit up, you know, with, with a, a message in the DM. Uh, another thing, I want to thank my top 10 gifters of the stream, of the show today, which number 10 will be, yes, Tim. And number nine, we have Genesee. 
Number eight, we have Lil Swiper. And number seven, we have Playroom. Number six, we have Fallen Angel. At number five, we have XO. Number four, Nini. And the top three, we have Yes Jess. Number two, we have Lucky. And number one, we have Turk. Thank y'all for being here. Appreciate the love. Again, guys, thank y'all so much. Seriously, thank you. Y'all did an amazing job. It was awesome. Thank you again. And this Appreciate is Dini love. Blind every Mondays at 9 p.m. with your host, Didi Amante. Until next time. It's over.